three-year-olds are engrossed in make-believe play, they are largely concerned with their own separate worlds. They enjoy being near each other and using the same kind of materials. But their play does not involve close or prolonged cooperation. Verbal communication of ideas is limited and it is intellectually hard for three-year-olds to see things from the other person's point of view. I know you want a box, Johnny, but Genevieve's using this one. Let's see if there's another one over here. Miss Lewis is aiming to do more than simply restore order. She has acknowledged John's own needs, but she has made him take account of Genevieve's position too. She sees it as an important intellectual achievement for John to have considered, at least momentarily, both aspects of the problem situation. Older kindergarten children, in the same kind of play, are ready for wider challenges. Their dramatic play is a closer and more complicated imitation of real life. There is more concern for having the right props and for using them more realistically. Again, Miss Lewis sets the stage and makes use of these informal play situations to complement more structured learning at other times. five-year-olds begin to be more of a cooperative group effort with real verbal communication and consideration of each other's ideas.
The game grows and continues all morning, and Miss Lewis decides to extend the children's interests and discoveries. Peter lived in a small house in a big city of tall, tall buildings. It was the one street in the neighbourhood that had many small houses and that even had trees. He lived there with his mother and his father and the dog and the cat. Peter liked his red door very much. Behind it was his own world, his books to look at, his white paper and bright crayons to draw with, blocks and sticks to build things with, and so many good things came to him through his red door. got a lot of water here. I wonder how they're going to get rid of it, Paul? Through the pipe. Can you show us where it'll go? Down down from the down from the wall. How will it get into the pipe? By the plug. Yeah, now you see where it all goes down here and down here. Well if you could side the pipe on the other side of the wall. The one outside. Right and see if you can see on the wall outside. When it's time to go home, Miss Lewis suggests that the boys be encouraged to look at the plumbing in their own houses. Measuring the wood. Maybe you could have a look at the and see if you can see the pipes you did from our basement today. See where yours go to. Next morning, the children find their playhouse still standing. Some of them discover more ideas in the books Miss Lewis has put out. Miss Lewis has also brought along other challenging equipment which will extend their interests. Okay. 
Miss Lewis has carefully timed her intervention. She joined in at the moment when the solution to the problem was almost within their reach. But they were getting disheartened and ready to give up. She helps them to put into words the questions they are seeking to solve. Um, pull it down to go through. What did you have to do with this end of the hole? Put it, um, put it up high so you can pull through and go so down the other end. You so that this end is higher. Rather than supply the answers, she right helps them to formulate the clear questions. Many kinds of learning can take place in a kindergarten and a good teacher has many different ways of teaching. 